Hey guys, this is Evie and welcome back to my channel. So for this look, I used Long Hair Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic along with this Unicorn Glitter Mix. And both of these are available at longhairprettynails.com. I will leave a link down below. So I've already prepped my nails and applied my nail forms. So now I'm applying Nail Nails Nail Prep Dehydrator and I'm going in with No Lift Nails Primer. And I start off with the Long Hair Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic and I'm applying that to the tip area just to make the area flush between the tip and my natural nail. And then I'm applying a thin layer to my nail bed area. And I'm going in with the Unicorn Glitter Mix. And to pick up the glitter, I just take a small bead of the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic and then I dip it into the glitter. And that is how I place the glitter on my nail. And I just pack it in place and just kind of spread it about. And I kind of place the silver chunks where I want them to be and just make everything nice and even. All right, so once I have all the glitter placed the way that I like, I'm just gonna go ahead and encapsulate this nail with the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic. And I'm also building up the apex and the strength of the nail as well. All right, so for my ring fingernail, I'm once again going in with that coat of primer and placing a bead of clear acrylic at the tip area and slightly overlapping on my natural nail. And going in with more of that unicorn glitter mix. This unicorn mix is so pretty. I love the lavender and purple and silver in it. It is just so gorgeous. And it's one of my top sellers. So a lot of people love it as well. And I can see why. I noticed that I did not do a set like showcasing this glitter by itself. And I can't believe I didn't do it up, up until now. But it is so gorgeous. And I just love the way this set turned out. And once again, encapsulating this nail once I have all the glitter in place the way that I like. All right, so for my middle finger, this is going to be a glitter ombre nail. So I am just starting off with the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear Acrylic at the tip area. And I'm just concentrating majority of the glitter on the tip. And 
I'm placing a tiny bit on the nail bed area just to create that nice gradient look. And once it's all in place, I just go ahead and encapsulate this nail as well. So for my index finger, I am also doing a glitter ombre nail. All right, so this is after the acrylic has set and I'm just gonna go in with my shaping and filing. I like to use this 100 slash 180 grit file and I start on the 100 grit side and I do my filing. And if you guys are interested in this nail dust collector, it is from Gearbest and it is the bomb. I will leave a link down below. So after my filing, I'm going in with this medium grit bit from Poochie's Nails. It is a safety bit and this nail drill is from Gearbest.com. I did a review on it. I will leave a link to that and the product down below. And taking my nail drill, I'm just working that around the cuticle area. moving on to my spiral nail I actually take my 3d brush and I use the backing paper to my nail forms and I just roll that around the brush um, and I secure it with scotch tape you can very well use a straw for your spiral, but I don't have any straws, so this is what I have to do to make my platform. So once I have it all secured with the tape, I just slide it off the brush, and this is what you have, a nice sturdy platform to work your spiral on. All right, so taking the Long Care Pretty Nails Clear and the Unicorn Mix Glitter, I'm just using that to form my spiral and just try to keep everything nice and neat and just making sure to pat the edges so it's nice and crisp and, you know, just make a spiral. 
So I really love the spiral nail I did with the pink and gold glitter. If you haven't seen that, I will leave a card in the top right hand corner so you guys can check out that video. But I really love that spiral so I wanted to try it again. But I decided to do the spiral a little different this time. Um, it's kind of crazy how I came about this but my pink and gold spiral have finally broken off. <laughs> and um i was like okay so i ended up placing it over my ring fingernail and i was like oh my god that looks pretty cool so yeah i love that i was able to make the spiral start from the nail bed and you know wind its way down so i was like okay i'm gonna try it next time by just slipping the spiral over a nail and since i was using this unicorn mix i said you know why not the spiral kind of looks like a unicorn horn so i was just like yeah perfect So once you form the spiral, I'm just going to work it off of the tube, slightly pushing in the tube and releasing the spiral. I'm just giving it a twist and it slides right off. All right, so now I'm going in with this drill bit from gearbest.com and I'm just going to uh, clean up the edges of the spiral just so it's nice and crisp. All right, so next I'm going in with this Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat and the Poochie Snails Bling Gel. And I'm applying this to my middle finger and my index finger because I'll be applying stones on these nails. So I go in with a layer of the Bling Gel and without caring, I put the top coat over it. And then I'm just going to place my crystals. I'm placing these blue Swarovski and iridescent crystals. The iridescent crystals are available on my website. I will leave a link down below. So once I have the crystals in place, I go ahead and cure so the crystals won't shift. And then I just go in with the Poochie's Nails top coat on the rest of the nails. And I also put the top coat underneath the nails just to make it super shiny. And cure for 60 seconds in my LED lamp. And I also apply top coat to the spiral. All right, so after carrying the spiral, I just go ahead and slip it over my ring fingernail. And I use small beads of clear acrylic to adhere it to the nail. And once the acrylic sets, I go ahead and place gel top coat on top of it um, just so it can blend into the nail and just be shiny. So after curing, I apply my cuticle oil. And this is the finished look. I love this glitter mix. It is so pretty. Purple is one of my favorite colors and I just really love how this set turned out. And I like the spiral nail with a twist, literally. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to longcareprettynails.com. We're currently having a sale, which is 20% off the entire site. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you in my next one.